Hey guys, my name is Em and welcome back to the start of a brand new weekly reading vlog. Today is Monday the 17th of January and I'm so so excited for this week. I have a lot of reading plans for this week. Honestly, my reading for January has been amazing. I don't want to jinx anything but I've been reading so much and I have such an ambitious TBR once again this week. Tomorrow, one of my most anticipated releases of the whole year is coming out. I'm so so excited so if that does arrive tomorrow, I will be dropping everything to read that book but I'm not sure if it's going to be arriving tomorrow or not so I thought I would open this vlog with a potential TBR in case it doesn't arrive. The book that I'm talking about is Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. I can't even explain my excitement for this book. I will talk more about it when I have the book in my hands. All I know is that I adore Colleen Hoover. She has never let me down yet and it is going to be amazing. It is going to be a wild ride. It is going to make me cry. I was debating doing like a specific vlog for Reminders of Him and I still might do that depending on like when it arrives and stuff. I might have this as a separate vlog. Vlog. but honestly I think I'm just gonna do a regular reading vlog but let's get into the TBR I really only have like one book on this TBR other than Reminders of Him The Dragon Republic by R.F. Kuang this is the second book in the Poppy War trilogy and I'm so excited to be starting this I'm buddy reading this with Soph from Tiny One Universe and Bisma from Hates Bisma and I'm so excited to be reading this I finished the Poppy War at the weekend I loved it I gave it five stars this one is going to be even worse in terms of like pain and devastation but I think I'm gonna love it so I'm very excited to read this. As I said, this is 700 pages. With these books, I would read some of it and then I would maybe read like a very short book in between and then read some more of it and then read another short book because other than that, I do kind of get just a little bit bogged down in reading this. So I think that's what I'm gonna do for this week. And if I need like some shorter books, I'm going to continue with the Mindfuck series by St. Abbey. If you were following my last couple of vlogs, you will know that I started this series. I've currently finished the first two books in this series and I loved them so so much and I definitely want to complete this series. There's three books left. They're all like around the 100 page mark so hopefully I will be able to read all three of those books this week as well and yeah that is kind of just like my TBR for this week. I am actually going to possibly start this right now but first of all I want to show you the book that I just finished. I literally just finished it like five minutes before filming this clip so it was on my TBR for this week but I've actually already finished it and that book is Baby Teeth by Meg Grehan. I loved this book so much. It it was so wholesome. It was so beautiful. So Meg Rehan is an Irish author and I actually picked this book up after seeing Stephanie from Stephanie's Lowerland talk about it like two weeks ago or something. This is written in verse and I don't even know how to describe it but it's kind of like a poetry book and it's sapphic and it's it kind of is a bit sad honestly and like a little bit confusing but like you you get it but you don't get it. Maybe that's just me. The girls that get it get it. The girls that don't don't. But yeah, I actually love this book. I think I'm gonna give it a 3.5 star simply because I don't really like poetry books. I do find them a little bit too hard to understand for my brain. Don't ask how, I've literally read 500 pages of The Poppy War but this was too complicated for me. This book kind of reminds me of A Dowry of Blood take from that what you will. But also I got a book in the post today and I'm going to show it to you, The Bone Spindle. I'm so excited about this book as well. This is actually one of my anticipated releases of the year and I adore this cover first of all. This is, as far as I know, a sapphic Beauty and the Beast retelling. That could be completely wrong but the two girls on the front cover, I'm already obsessed. I think it sounds amazing. Beauty and the Beast. No, it's not Beauty and the Beast. Did I say Beauty and the Beast? I meant Sleeping Beauty. If I said Beauty and the Beast before, I meant Sleeping Beauty, um, but yeah, it's a Sleeping Beauty retelling. I am so excited to read this. I'm not sure if I will get to it this week, but I think I definitely will get to this in February. But yeah, I am so excited about this reading vlog, about getting to read some books. That is all I have to say for right now. As I said, I'm getting my nails done tomorrow. I've had these nails on since the 9th of December, so it is well time to get them off. And yeah, that is all I have to say for right now. Happy Monday. Happy start to the new week. I hope you have a great day or night whenever you're watching this and I will talk to you later.
is now 8 45 in the evening and i have started the dragon republic a couple hours ago i've been reading it with soph on facetime and we're like almost at the same part i'm on page 75 which is chapter six. Oh my god i'm loving this book so much like i i genuinely can't even describe how much i'm loving this book it had such a strong start much much stronger than the first one and i have been obsessed from page one like if you can see i've annotated something on literally nearly every single page it is so good so i want to keep reading as much as i can because i'm well and truly obsessed and i don't want to stop reading this book is quite happy right now which is misleading because of the reviews that everybody gives it so i'm thinking something bad is going to happen in the book but for right now reveling in the happiness reveling in the friendships possible enemies to lovers like i know that this book is not like your typical fantasy book with like your romance and your subplots and everything like that i know that i'm not expecting that but i'm here for whatever is going to be given because oh my god and now i just need to like collect the hard covers of this series i'm gonna just keep reading because i'm actually in the mood to just read as much as i possibly can and also my nan sent me a gift card and i think i'm going to town tomorrow i'm going to starbucks and i have to get my dad a birthday gift because i just realized his birthday is friday and i have not gotten him anything yet so if you're watching this dad i've totally got this figured out weeks ago <laughs> Okay besties, it is now 11.30 in the evening and I've just made myself a cup of tea because I am about to continue reading. Me and Soph have stopped reading The Dragon Republic for the evening. We reached chapter 9 which is page 137 which is incredible progress for like a day because these books are quite information heavy and stuff so we really are flying through it and we're both loving it so so much but I am settling down with my tea right now because I want to continue reading the third mindfuck book. I'm so so excited to read this book like I don't know if I'm gonna finish the whole thing today because it is like nearly midnight and it is like 100 pages but it's very fast and I am very intrigued to see where it goes so you never know this tea might like fuel me we're just gonna read until I get too tired and I will talk to you more tomorrow <laughs> Happy Tuesday, happy Colleen Hoover Day. It is the 18th of January and it is currently just 2 p.m. I just got home from town a few minutes ago. I went to get my nails taken off, but I just got them to put on like this normal nail varnish. It's just like this blue color. I kind of hate it, not gonna lie, but I have anxiety. So when they asked me like, is this color okay? Obviously I said, yes, it's perfect. Even though I really, really didn't like it from the beginning. But you know what? That's my own problem. That's my own fault. However, I just got home in the hopes that Colleen Hoover's book would be here. Reminders of him. It is not um which i'm really really sad about because i have had it pre-ordered since like august now it is a possibility that the post delivered it to my grandparents house and i know that sounds so random but we live in a very you know rural irish town everybody knows everybody and we don't live too far from my grandparents so if we're not home the postman will bring it to my grandparents house which is really nice but obviously i'm not in my grandparents house so i have not got the book. I went into town as I said and I got a Starbucks. I got this drink inspired by Larissa from Larry Reads and it is called the Aaron Blackford which is the main guy in the Spanish love deception. First of all let's talk about how they gave me the dome lid. This is an iced white chocolate mocha with caramel drizzle. If you're looking for it highly recommend. Since I don't have Colleen Hoover's book to binge read in 24 hours like I had planned on doing. I might continue with The Dragon Republic. I left off on chapter 9 last night and part 2 is up to chapter 12 so like another like 50 pages. That might be my goal right now. So I did go into two shops. I went into H&M and I went into Eason which is just like an Irish bookshop but the book that I got was The Betrayal of Anne Frank by Rosemary Sullivan. This book actually only came out today. This is basically about the mystery of Anne Frank like how they got discovered, who sold them out, like and why they 
they were sold out so this has been a mystery for like 75 years and now I think as far as I know they have solved it which is probably what this book is but as you know I'm really really interested in history especially World War II and I'm really intrigued to read this. I read on Frank's diary a few years ago I think at the start of 2020 and it was just so so inspiring and so heartbreaking. The most heartbreaking thing is when the diary just stops and you obviously know that it has stopped because she's been taken away but it's it's just heartbreaking to read and I'm really really interested to see more about this. I don't know when I'm gonna get to this one but hopefully soon. Also I went into H&M and I bought two things and I actually didn't spend any money because I had a gift card. I got this baby blue top which honestly you would think that I like the color blue I actually don't like the colour blue at all but I got this blue top, I just thought it was really really cute and then I also just got this t-shirt that just says Amour Paris it's nothing special but just like for a t-shirt to go with leggings that was my day so far, I'm waiting on confirmation whether my package is at my grandparents house or not but yeah right now I think I'm gonna sit down with my coffee and read more of the Dragon Republic <laughs> Thursday. It is currently like 2 p.m. but I wanted to give you a reading update. So earlier on I was about to give you an update on the Dragon Republic and say that I haven't really read much more of it and I had made it up to part two which is chapter 11. I am now on page 182 and I'm planning on reading as much as I possibly can of this today because Sophia was reading all day yesterday. She is now like on page like 350 or something so I want to catch up so that we can finish it together tomorrow but also I wanted to give you an update because I finished the third mindfuck book which was called Scarlet Angel and I have to say that this was my favorite book of the series so far. I gave it five out of five stars. They literally just keep getting better and better and I am fully obsessed so this one was definitely a lot of progression and finding out a lot about like the backstory of why she's doing this and like what was happening and I just found out this morning that the author of this series actually died in July 2021 in this really bad car accident and that was just so sad. I don't know why I didn't know that but it's honestly really really heartbreaking. I've actually been on FaceTime with Bisma and Soph for hours and I was trying to do French work and then I cried because I couldn't understand the passage that I was trying to read then I just decided we don't need that negative energy we can just forget about it and I'm gonna read the Dragon Republic but yeah happy Thursday I don't really have a lot on today also I think earlier on I was telling you about the necklace that I got from Soph so my beautiful bestie Soph from Tiny and Universe sent me a Cornicello necklace for my birthday and I'm so 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 grateful for her and thank you so much but it is the most beautiful Cornicello necklace and if you don't know Cornicello is the pendant that that the girls wear in Kingdom of the Wicked and we obviously read that series together and love that series together so we call each other Cornicello Queens and now I have my Cornicello necklace and it is so amazing because it's actually like a charm of protection in like Italian tradition and stuff. I am never taking it off but yeah I'm just gonna girl boss my way to the top and read more of the Dragon Republic. This is upside down and backwards so yeah mood of the day. Okay, so I'm on page 190 and this book is extremely good and we're kind of just getting into like the pain part now because it's been suspiciously happy but there's like two people in here that I'm shipping but I know I shouldn't because there's gonna be like a betrayal or something and it's gonna cause me immense pain but I still can't help but ship them because my enemies to lovers heart just loves it so yeah i'm on page 216 which is chapter 13 and i'm liking it still obviously but there are a couple slow parts and i mean of course there's going to be slow parts like it's a 700 page intense political fantasy like of course there's going to be slow parts 
but there's a lot of politics there's a lot of like military strategies that just kind of go over my head hi besties okay it is now 5 p.m and i wanted to give you a reading update i actually have been reading for the last couple of hours i've been taking a few breaks but because i'm on facetime I haven't been able to like use my phone so that's actually really really helpful but I wanted to give you an update on the Dragon Republic so I am currently on chapter 17 which is page 282 I think I don't want to say that I'm at like a boring part or anything because there are a lot of things happening and stuff but it's just not a very exciting part there's a lot of like political information and a lot of like things happening that I don't really know what they have to do with the plot and I'm really really trying to concentrate on everything that's being said but I'm just losing that like focus and maybe that's because I have just sat down and read 100 pages over the past couple hours because I know that if I leave it on a slow part I'm not going to want to pick back up the book because I'm just going to remember that like there's nothing really happening so I want to like read through that but then I also kind of want to read the fourth book in the Mindfuck series so I might start that this evening instead of continuing with this I'm gonna go right now I'm gonna get back to the girls even though we've been on FaceTime for like I think it's like five hours now honestly I don't know how we do it and we don't get sick of each other but we don't hello besties happy Friday it is 1 28 in the afternoon I'm here with my coffee and if you can see all of the things in the background blankets clothes cat ignore Ignore them. So I actually have a very busy day today. Today is my dad's birthday. So at four I'm going for like a family dinner and I need to get ready soon but I'm procrastinating. I literally leave getting ready for the last minute because I feel like I will get anxious if I'm ready before the time. Anyways let's give an update on the Dragon Republic. I was reading for a good few hours yesterday and I got up to page 299 but I physically couldn't read that last page to get to 300. I found that like I wasn't really understanding what was happening and I kept like zoning out and just skim reading and I didn't want to do that with this book because I am loving it and it is such a good book but I am 300 pages in to this book minus one page but who's counting I think right now it's going through a bit of a slow part where it's just a lot of like strategy and war and politics and that's not a bad thing because obviously it's very important and it is like the setup for everything else in the series I want plot I want more of like what's gonna happen but anyways I have started a weekend readathon with the girls we've decided to read from 12 o'clock today until 12 p.m sunday and yeah I'm already late to that because it's like two hours in and I haven't read a single thing but you know what it's fine I might just start from tonight when I get home and then go into like Sunday evening but my goal is to finish this this weekend so I have like 350 pages left I can read 350 pages in three days I actually got some clothes today I got them from Stradvarius and Stradvarius is actually one of my favorite brands I love their clothes but I've never ordered from them before I've always gotten them from ASOS and I decided to buy them from the actual place because they had a sale on and everything was like reduced to 10 euro so I got three dresses and then a top. I'm going to show you right now. I'm not going to try them on because I don't want to but I'm going to show them to you right now. Okay so first of all the top is this cute like green and floral print crop top. I usually hate cropped things um, however like I have some high-waisted jeans and I feel like it won't actually be that cropped when I try it on with some high-waisted jeans and I thought that this was really cute you know coming into summer okay so the first dress we have is this white floral dress I don't know if you can see um, but it like ties at the side this really nice pattern then I got this dress which is actually very similar to the other one but I love it as well and it's just this cute pink summer dress I love these like flowy pretty dresses that is the other dress and then the final item which is actually the thing that I went on for because Sophia bought it and she sent me a picture of her wearing it and I was like where'd you get that dress bestie and then I found it and it was on sale and I got it and I actually think that I might wear this today for the birthday dinner okay so here is the dress it's kind of like a mesh material I don't know how to explain it but it's really really nice and I think I'm gonna wear that today with some tights and boots. And yeah, that is all I have to say for right now. I will get back to you later with some more updates. Hi besties. So I just got back from the birthday dinner. It is currently 8.15 and I did wear my new dress. I loved it so much, but I actually had a really great time. And now I'm about to spend the evening reading on sprints with the girls and I'm so excited. So I think I'm going to try and make as much progress in the Dragon Republic as I can. I don't know how much I'll manage to get read, but I'm in the mood to read now and I'm feeling fresh and energized. I actually have a coffee here that I made. So I'm just gonna 
relax and read as much as I can and I think we're planning on staying up pretty late. We're gonna see how it goes and hopefully I manage to get lots of the Dragon Republic read. Okay so it is now half ten and I have been reading for the last little while on sprints with Bismuth and Soph and I have just reached chapter 20 which is like page 348 and some huge plot twist just kind of happened in the last chapter that's definitely kept me interested and has made me more eager to like continue on with the book so I think my goal is to get up to page 400 which is another 50 pages I think that should be doable then I can like get to page 500 tomorrow and then finish it on Sunday so that would work out but yeah, I'm really enjoying this book. I am really enjoying my reading experience. You know, I'm reading with Soph and she is a bit further ahead than me. So like she knows what's happening. And every time that like I get shocked about something because we're on FaceTime, she can like see my reaction and she knows what part I'm at and stuff like that. So I really, really like that. And yeah, I think I'm gonna get into my pajamas now because I'm getting cold and then I'm gonna continue reading. I am quite tired, but I'm gonna try to not get too tired yet like I feel like you know it's only half 10 I need to read a bit more it is now 11 46 and I've just reached chapter 22 which was my goal for the night which is page 394 and I'm really really happy with how much I've read today I've read 100 pages I feel like I could maybe get up to part three which is like another 50 pages or something but I'm definitely more intrigued now new characters are being brought in but I was just thinking about the fact that like I'm literally 400 pages in and I'm kind of like not upset like everybody when I was picking up this series was like oh my god you're gonna cry you're gonna scream and I read the first book and yeah I did especially chapter 21 that changed me for life and like I definitely understood where they were coming from and then they said that like the second one is even worse listen I'm either like emotionless or maybe I haven't reached that part yet but everything's kind of going quite well like obviously things are happening and like bad things are happening but also they're not devastating it's not really bad like the first one so I don't know what to expect I don't know if it's like all a lead up to something that's gonna happen and absolutely like break my heart or maybe I'm just built different and don't feel pain. We're gonna see how it goes but I'm really liking it. Let me know down in the comments if you read this book and if you felt any emotions from the first 400 pages. Okay besties I have to talk a little bit quietly now because it is one in the morning but I've just reached part three of the Dragon Republic which is page 450 so I only have like this amount of the book left which I feel like I might be able to finish tomorrow. That last 50 pages that I read just completely hooked me and like kept me wanting to read and like if I wasn't so tired right now I feel like I would actually keep reading. Hi besties, it is now Saturday night, it is after 11pm. Please ignore how I look, I know that I look atrocious but I'm not feeling the best right now and also it is late at night but I have a reading update for you. This afternoon I actually managed to finish The Dragon Republic by RF Kuang. I actually can't believe that I managed to finish this so quickly considering like Thursday I think I was on page like 200 and something so I really sped through the last half of this book the last half of this book was incredible it was like event after event after event and there was never a break in excitement or anything because it started off so strong with the first 150 pages and then it ended so strong with the last 200 pages it was just like that like 100 or 200 pages in the middle of the book that I didn't just vibe with completely but I'm still giving this book five out of five stars I loved it honestly I can't really say much about like the ending or anything because obviously I don't want to spoil anything but it definitely was a sad ending I did tear up at one of the parts and we lost a lot of beloved characters in this book I didn't find this book as brutal as the first one but like when I think about it this book probably had more brutality and more war in it than the first one but I think because I knew what to expect and I knew the kind of the standard from the first book I knew what to expect for this book and I wasn't quite as shocked I wasn't quite as like I don't know how to explain it I I think I was just like desensitized from it because there were a lot of really really graphic things in here and a lot of descriptions that were just like that is absolutely revolting but it was a really really good book so yeah I really don't know what else I can say about the Dragon Republic I'm so excited to pick up the Burning God the way it ended is just so interesting this morning I actually got such exciting book mail because I got reminders of him by Colleen Hoover 
I am so excited to read this book. I literally like have my nails matching this book and everything. It is possible that I'm gonna like try and read this entire book in one sitting tomorrow. I think whenever I am going to read this book it is going to be hopefully over the space of like a day but that will be a separate vlog and it's actually not that long. I mean compared to like the book that I just finished it's literally like a fraction of it so I really don't think I will have any problems of finishing it and also I just think I need a tiny little break from fantasy. Though I fully intend to read The Burning God very very soon because I'm so excited to finish this trilogy and it is so rare for me to like read a series back to back and I think having someone to read it with really motivated me to keep going because this is a long book. So the book that I am now starting is All the Lies which is book four in the Mindfuck series which I have been reading for a while now and I'm so excited to continue. I am currently 23% of the way through this. I was reading when I was in my grandparents house and it's so fast to get through and it's so intriguing because this series is kind of like on the way to being wrapped up now. Things are happening, things are being revealed, people are piecing things together and it's getting so intriguing. So I think I'm going to attempt to finish this right now. I mean it is like 140 pages, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to finish it but I have peppermint tea with me because as I said I'm not feeling the best. So I have my peppermint tea, I have my serial killer book. Um, those two things do not really go together but for some reason they work and yeah I think I'm gonna just curl up in bed and read as much as I can for as long as I can and yeah I will talk to you tomorrow. Hey besties, okay so it is now Monday but I'm coming on here to end out this vlog because honestly I completely forgot to end it out yesterday but I just wanted to give like a final reading wrap up. Honestly I can't really remember what I read at the start of the week so if I've finished more books than I'm about to say like ignore it. I cannot remember what I did yesterday. Like, But I know that I finished book three in the Mindfuck series which I gave five out of five stars. It was my absolute favourite in the series so far. I would highly highly recommend the series and then also I read The Dragon Republic which was the biggest achievement because it is fucking huge and I managed to finish this which was again another five out of five star read. And then yesterday I started Reminders of Him. I read 60 pages in already feel the pain, already I'm not ready but I didn't read any more so you'll have to wait until next week's vlog to see my full thoughts on this. But yeah I would count that a successful reading week because any books that I read I gave five stars to. I can't remember if I read anything else but I feel like I didn't. I I don't oh oh my god I forgot to update you but I read The Drowning Faith which is the novella from Neza's point of view from all three books. It doesn't spoil the third book by the way but it kind of gives insight into what he was thinking during this book and I read that and it was literally like 20 pages or something but I still marked it on Goodreads and Storygraph because I wasn't gonna pass up on like another book finished. But yeah that is all I read for this week. I had such a fun time this week and honestly this vlog is probably really long because I gave a lot of updates but I really enjoy that and I really enjoy like chatty vlogs so I'm really really happy with how this one turned out. But yeah that is it for this video. I really really hope you enjoyed. Comment the dragon emoji if you watched to the end. Thank you so so much for watching. Stay amazing, stay kind and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!